Out of all the characters I thought were gonna make it to the end, Trent is definitely up there. He was a phenomenal player and sadly got tricked by Heather sealing his fate early into Merge. But what if Heather wasn't able to get to Trent or Trent simply pushed Heather away when she tried to advance onto him? That is the basic event that will start all of this off. And without Trent being eliminated, who would? Well, there is a possibility that Duncan would get Trent for a guy's alliance to vote someone off, like Lindsay or Bridget or Izzy, and out of those options, they choose Izzy. The reasoning being that Izzy is the one they can trust the least out of the current roster. At least they trust her less than the current options. I mean, Izzy would be the type of person to say she will vote with you before going to the person you're voting for and telling them you told to her to vote for them, and who exactly is also voting them with you. So with that, Izzy gets taken out. Episode 17 and Owen still spills the beans about the guide's alliance to Heather, to which she would go to the girls, and Gwen is a little pissed at Trent after hearing about it, but she isn't gonna be super pissed because in reality Trent wouldn't let her go if they aren't voting Bridget off. The guys talk about voting Bridget off, but Trent talks about how she may be strong, but that's not right to Jeff since Jeff loves Bridget and it would be like getting rid of Gwen. Duncan then says that they will vote Lindsay then, to which everyone agrees as they want Heather overall to be weaker, and Lindsay is preventing them. That. But Duncan is thinking about cutting ties with Trent and Jeff because he doesn't want Bridget and Gwen to make it super far. Episode 18 and Jeff would be able to actually create a working bike since Bridget is still here. Heather would let DJ wipe out first, but since Izzy isn't here to take LaShawn away, LaShawn and Heather would fight, and Heather would inevitably wipe out with Bridget winning and LaShawn making it second. And because this is possibly the worst challenge in the whole entire series, LaShawn gets eliminated in another rigged elimination. This honestly makes Duncan feel a little bit better about Bridget not being eliminated, but he immediately is more into the thought of getting Bridget eliminated because now that she has won a contest, she is athletic, she is well liked, and she can be a threat to him. Episode 19 and sadly DJ goes here, and though I feel like Bridget is also an option, I don't think she'll be eliminated over DJ who didn't get caught by Chef, so DJ is eliminated this episode. Episode 20 and unlike in canon, the guys alliance would not disband because there are four guys and that holds majority, but Duncan really wants Bridget gone, so he goes to Heather and makes a short term alliance because he wants Bridget gone and he will figure out the rest. Nothing really changes and I can't see anyone being a major suspect to being voted out, so Duncan gets Heather and Owen to vote Bridget while telling Jeff to vote Owen as he tells him that he was told that Owen worked with Heather a few times, and he tells Trent to vote for Heather, so the final votes are Gwen and Trent voting Heather with Bridget voting voting Duncan, Jeff voting Owen, and Duncan, Heather, and Owen voting Bridget. Trent immediately catches on to what happened and tells him off for it in episode 21, to which Jeff, despite being dumb, catches on as well and says that Bridget was right about him and that he should have listened when she told him that they should bring Harold in and vote off Duncan. But Duncan says that it doesn't matter since the final three are right here, with him referring to Heather, Duncan, and Owen. The only team to change is Trent and Duncan, which Trent works hard as to make sure he gets immunity, with Duncan doing the same, but I think Jeff and Gwen would end up winning as Duncan and Trent would end up fighting too much amongst themselves to complete the totem in time. Trent goes to Owen and gives a heartfelt speech about how he doesn't want to see him work with the bad guys anymore, and Owen ends up agreeing to vote for Heather. But Owen is still offered food to vote for Trent, so Owen ends up taking a neutral stance and he votes for himself, making the votes 3 votes Heather, 2 votes Trent, and 1 vote Owen. Heather is shocked, and Duncan is a bit worried for his own safety here. Episode 22 and the person being eliminated could be Jeff, Gwen, or Owen. I think Owen would ultimately be picked because he is the loudest one out of them all and is the most well liked by the majority of the cast, though the case can be made for Gwen as Katie and Sadie are also women. Episode 24 and the teams are Gwen and Jeff and Trent and Duncan. Now Trent does not like Duncan, but he won't throw the challenge since then he would be at risk of elimination. And Trent only throws his chance for a million dollars in action, which I want to stay as true as possible to Island Trent. So he would end up winning the challenge with Duncan in the end and Jeff would decide to boot Gwen over Jeff. But before Gwen goes, she gives Trent her necklace and tells Trent to win for him. And even though Trent wants to tell her that he's not built for this like her, she tells him to push past that mental barrier to beat Duncan. 
episode 25 and out of everyone here, I think Duncan most likely would chicken out first. We see that in World Tour, Duncan chickens out of eating Chinese food because it was too disgusting for him, so I doubt he could do many of the disgusting challenges that this challenge consists of. He probably could power through it, but overall he most likely would fail at the end because I just don't see Duncan being able to do what Heather was able to do. And Trent would be at his 100%, though we don't know the capabilities of that for sure. I just think that Trent would be able to keep going with Gwen's hope in him, and Jeff is just a party animal. He loved this. So the finale is Jeff and Trent, two people who lost their girlfriends to Duncan's wrath. I think the two are pretty even, and they would both have a lot of fun, though it would still be competitive with Trent ending up winning with Gwen's help. With Jeff, of course, being an alternate winner. So that's that. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments below. Make the day yours, and I'll see you all with the next contestant, Bridget.